Yellowstone Super Volcano Eruption Update and how it's 40,000 years overdue. Yellowstone is one of the 20 super volcanoes in the world. It's responsible for three of the most devastating super eruptions, eruptions that wreck havoc across the earth. Scientists are now in a rush to figure out if we're long overdue total annihilation, a volcanic winter. Sebastian Kentley Express UK reports this. The video before this one talked about a new body found between two hot magma chambers, a body a, of a sill, which was a solid structure in between the two hot magma bodies, and that was something that was totally unexpected. Now, three large Yellowstone volcano mega eruptions rocked the planet in the past. The first earth-shattering blast happened 2.1 million years ago. The second supervolcano eruption took place 1.3 million years ago and was today today's island park in eastern Idaho. And the third, the most recent cataclysmic eruption, split the U.S. about 640,000 years ago and formed the Yellowstone caldera as we know it today. Those were the big blasts. There have been other more smaller eruptions since then. Now Yellowstone eruptions seem to occur roughly every, the big ones, every 600 to 700,000 years and many are now concerned Yellowstone is overdue another crushing eruption. Perhaps that's why the US government has entered an agreement to replace Yellowstone evacuees to the summer, southern hemisphere. You can find that in one of my previous videos that I posted yesterday having to do with the agreement for the displaced Yellowstone evacuees. That's the same video that talks about the magma cha be chamber being four times as big as they originally thought it was. Today we just posted another video having to do with the sill they found in between the solid sill in between two huge magma chambers of Yellowstone. It seems that every time they do a ground radar testing of Yellowstone they find something else. So this is what's happening. Now the fear of the eruption is in fact so prevalent. Many U.S. citizens have flooded social media warning their fellow countrymen. Now, the last eruption sent the Earth into a last ice age. The next one is looming and could end mankind, said someone. And it says, I've always thought Mother Earth would do us in before we could do it to ourselves, said another one. Another person says, we were overdue. Mount St. Helens was just warning. Yellowstone is a ticking time bomb. And then uh, there are those that warn us. For example, Dr. Michio Kaku, a physicist, cosmologists saying that yes we are overdue and this is also a super volcano that sits next to the California Long Valley Caldera volcano that's a super volcano as well and there uh, yes Yellowstone is on the ring of fire now Michael J Rico also said we live on knife's edge at all times the Yellowstone super volcano goes off like clockwork every 630,000 years, give or take a few thousand. It's about 20,000 years overdue now. It will happen, yes, and soon enough, and it will cause our extinction. Perhaps that's why NASA comes up with various plans of how to save humanity from the Yellowstone supervolcano. One plan was to drill holes and uh, nuke it in order to relieve the tension, the heat, Another plan was to drill holes and cool it in order to cool down the magma chambers. Uh, but then, of course, uh, they have the other idea that if they drill it and somehow touch the magma chambers, it may be too late. What they're trying to stop will happen sooner than later. So basically, they don't have a plan as to how to stop the eruption. Scientists now estimate Yellowstone is one of the most unpredictable and dangerous threats facing humanity. In October 2017, a team of researchers studying minerals from Yellowstone's last eruption suggested the volcano could blow a lot faster than expected. 
Hannah Shamlu and Christy Till of the University of Arizona tackled this commonly held assumption Yellowstone would prepare to blow over several centuries. Instead, they suggest we only have decades. Miss Shanlu said, it's shocking how little time is required to take a volcanic system from being quiet and sitting there on the edge of an eruption. Thankfully, at the moment, there are no direct indicators Yellowstone is preparing to erupt anytime soon, even if the worst estimates assume the volcano is thousands of years overdue. Michael Poland, who is a geophysicist at the Car Cascades Volcano Observatory, says, we see interesting things all the time, but we have not seen anything that would lead us to believe that the sort of magmatic event described by the researchers is happening. When Yellowstone erupted 630,000 years ago, this supervolcano blew out 240 cubic miles of terrifying ash and rock. Now, a much smaller eruption than the last big one on record took place only 70,000 years ago. Some scientists believe if Yellowstone were to erupt today, it would mostly resemble the minor eruption. Well, even that is bad because we're talking about a supervolcano. Dr. Sil T Till said it would most likely be one of the smaller ones. If we were looking for warning signs, that's what we would be looking for. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.